So here's my husband now. Just, just arrived. Uh oh, tiny. Oh, finally you arrived now. So. God, it's hot. Oh really? So, but you're full. Right, because I thought you're you're going down to buy some food for yourself. No, that's beautifully set up, my dear, but it's not real. <laughs> this is a foreigner living in the Philippines. My wife is um, a good actress, but not to do. That was the introduction, so that we could talk about the foods that I miss from America. Now there are plenty of foods that I miss from America because America is just full of different kinds of foods. I can remember the thing that I, let me see, the thing I remember most about American food is the quantities. I remember going in LA to a Chinese buffet. That's where you go and all of the food is all set out in their different containers and kept hot. And you say which ones you want and then in some places they go by weight but in others they just keep fishing and you get enormous 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 quantities and i remember going in one particular place and actually saying not so much food and two women standing behind me said oh god somebody refused food because the portions are so incredible. Now, I can remember in Fort Myers there was one particular Italian restaurant where the, the spaghetti was just so good. I, oh, I miss that spaghetti and that's with real meat and a real sauce and properly cooked noodles. Out here in the Philippines the way that they do spaghetti is with tomato sauce and no meat. That's not spaghetti. So, as far as America goes, spaghetti is one of the things I miss the most. What about Hispanic food? What about Spanish food? What about Mexican food? Oh God, going in Mexican food, having guacamole, having uh, the different kinds of, uh, of salads that they have, the tacos, the soft tacos, the hard tacos, the burritos. <laughs> I could talk about those all day, and they're cheap. You could go in and have the most wonderful burrito with chips and, and sauce, and it would just be so good. Now, what else? That's not to mention the one that everybody would say, oh my God, you're not eating healthy, and that is McDonald's. Now, I know the story about the McDonald's fries. And the story about McDonald's fries, I know because I actually tried and tested it. Somebody told me that if you take McDonald's fries, which are the best, if you take the fries and put them in a bag, keep them in the bag that you got them in and put them somewhere, not, not in the fridge, just put them in the pantry and leave them there and let's see leave them for three months. When you take them out again, apart from being stale, like they're not French, fresh French fries anymore, they would actually still look the same. Now, what on earth are they doing to those fries to make them look the same after three months? Now, the other thing was that if I leave any food out here, the ants will have it within minutes. It will be covered in ants because ants know good food. But the ants never ever troubled those french fries. <laughs> so I don't know what's in those french fries. But all of that said, I miss those french fries. Whatever they were doing to my guts, I miss them. And we, act, we have to drive from Borgas to Tubigon at the moment. So maybe this could be a plea to McDonald's to please 
put a McDonald's in Talabon, which is only 25 minutes away, so that I can go and have a McDonald's here, so I can go and have a Big Mac. And what about the Angus, the, what was it, the Angus steak that you could have in a, in a burger? Oh God, that was good. Uh, and the fries. I mean, I just love the fries. The apple pies, which are so loaded with grease, if you put them onto uh, a piece of paper, uh, the piece of paper will be soaked in grease and fat in moments. So we're not talking about health, we're talking about the insanity of catering to your taste buds. That's what we're talking about missing. And yes, I miss McDonald's. I actually miss Burger King because their burgers seemed a lot better to me. But the value wasn't the same and they're not run the same. Uh, the, the McDonald's that I used to go in with my son Luke, that we used to think of as our McDonald's, was in Fort Myers. And it was on, let me see, on McGregor, I think. And that was a very well run now the thing is that was a, as I say that was a very well run restaurant just just great everything was just great so clean so so every everything the same than it, the, every time that you went in my favorite was to have a big breakfast oh my god well the big breakfast uh, because it ends with strawberry jam which we don't seem to be able to get strawberry jam or marmalade or Marmite, but the Marmite is a British uh, Australian thing where you put a little bit of Marmite on a toast. So you never got that, but you would get a toasted bun, and with the toasted bun, you would get margarine, which once again is terrible for you but uh, does taste good in McDonald's, and the, as I said, strawberry jam. And that would finish the meal so beautifully. Now when I go to Tubigon now, I try to get up there early and I have a big breakfast. And when I have a big breakfast, I always pay a little extra for an extra toasted roll. And they give me that and uh, double strawberry jam and uh, I'm a happy man. So there are lots of other things I'm sure that I'll remember as soon as we stop this video. But Lots of the things that I remember came in, in packs and you could buy them and you can get them here <laughs> except that they're so incredibly expensive. I used to be on the juicer, we have a juicer here but unfortunately things like apples and what uh, an American or a British would call a lemon, are, well the lemons don't seem to be uh, available here and the apples are very expensive and we, right now we can't do the expensive. So all of those things that I used to uh, pile into the juicer with, uh, with abandon, um, apples, um, what else? I used to buy apples by the 15 pound bag and I used to buy oranges and I used to buy lemons probably almost the same and I used to buy in huge bags of something like 15 pounds at least, the big juicy carrots and, and they, I was never so healthy as when I was on that diet and boy, I miss that, I miss that about America. The only cooked meal that I used to have while we're talking about food is I used to have uh, all of my veggies chopped and put into the frying pan very briefly along with some water and probably canned chicken or tuna just for the taste a small can like this and that would be my one cooked meal a day and everything else i was on the juicer and, and i miss all of that food that was so freely available like you can buy tons and tons of bananas in america you go out and buy bananas and you can't eat them quick enough, they've gone off the next day. So, this is probably enough about food. Thank you for watching. This is Terence Flannery. Terence.flannery at gmail.com. You can contact me, you can ask me questions if you want to know anything about a foreigner 
living in the Philippines, which is our YouTube ID. Thank you for watching. We have a fundraiser which we like people to go to because they may take a mad um, swing at a donation which would help us with some of the uh, community things that we've got going here. That's GoFundMe Island Hilltop Community at uh, not at by Terence Flannery and that's where you'll find us. Thanks for watching and from my wife Beth and I Thank you and bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye from me too.